It's finished! You did it! Hey, so you completed your first piece. Master! Let me take a look. How is it, Master Bond? Not bad. Keep up the good work. I guess Michiko did almost all the work, though. No, no, not at all. Master Kichiro watched out for me, making everything easier for me to work with. Hey, Kichiro, if you got time to care for others, pay more attention to your work. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. <laughs> well, well. I should have known it was Kichiro making all the ruckus around here. What? It took you all this time to make your first weapon? Well, excuse me. There's nothing wrong, but you're such a slowpoke. You think you know that kind of pace? Cut it out, you two! Yes, Master. I guess I was on Lady like him. Kichiro is a bad influence. Me? Hey, you two! When I say stop, STOP! Yes, sir. Hello, hello. I'm sorry to bother you, but... What do you want? I'm here to deliver the notice for Kichiro's first round in the tournament. Now, what do I do? Well, don't just stand there. Hurry up and take it. Yes, here you are. Yay, our first match. The opponent for the first round is Chavez from the Gold Guild. You can reach the battle arena from the first floor of the central tower. Speak to the official at the end of the hallway and he'll guide you to the tournament arena. Oh, and there's something else you need to remember. Only one weapon is allowed to use in the tournament. Oh yeah, that's right. When you go into a tournament fight, which is going to be every occasion in this game, you can only bring one of your weapons that you crafted into the tournament. So you better find one that has a re either a really good attack or a really good durability. Because if your weapon breaks or if you die, you're done. Therefore, please become equipped in with your favorite weapon. Good luck. And that's where all the grinding comes in. Wanting to have to make a better weapon. So that way you can make it through the fight. Well, good luck and do your best. What is Shabba's like? Mm, he's not that strong of an opponent, but with the weapon you have now, it'll be tough. Yeah, I don't think we're ready for battle yet. Alright, I'll teach you one more technique. You're mighty generous today, Master. Take his generosity, Kichiro. What'd you say? Uh, nothing, sir. Now, let's see. What do I want to start out with? A very useful type is the drill type, because it has a lot of repetitive... A lot of... Multiple hit attacks. I don't know. I just think it'd be useful the first few fights. I'll show them what you're made of. Anyway, now that, since we made our novice knife, we can travel deeper into the... We can travel deeper into the labyrinth, but at the same time, we also have to grind for materials if we want to make new items. Anyway, let's head over to the labyrinth and do some grinding. Oh, what's going on here? Huh? What brings you here, Mom? I'm just checking to see how you're doing. Oh, it looks like you decided on a partner. No, nah, it's you, Michiko. You're going to be Kichiro's guardian. I started there. That was terrible. This was, it's been so long since we last met. Do you know each other? Of course I do. Michiko used to be your father's guardian beast. Master Kichiro, let's get going soon. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. She seems upset about something. With Michiko at your side, you'll be just fine. Hang in there. But, uh, sure. What's wrong? You seem a little upset. Uh-oh. Sincere moment. Um... I don't like that person. Why? She was Master Shinsetsu. My dad's what? It doesn't matter. I have Master Kichiro by my side now. So please take no heed. Uh, okay. I'll forget about it. Anyway, you see what just happened there. Jealousy. Spite. Something else. Some other emotion that has to do with... Something. Anyway, let's go back into the labyrinth, and now that we have a weapon, let's see if it's equipped. No, I did not equip it. Anyway. Here we go. As we travel into the dungeon, we will fight monsters with vigor this time. Once more with feeling. This time we have a weapon. Swords usually have a three-hit combo and a stab attack. Very useful, very quick, very balanced. Which is why you learn them progressively instead of learn. This is why you learn them as the game advances, not as you craft them. And yay, I leveled up off of that one fight. And the stats are pretty straightforward. Attack, defense, and agility lets you move faster, swing your weapon faster, blah blah blah. Either way, you're gonna choose- Either way, when you choose one, your health will increase by a certain amount. 
And as we continue on, we will continue fighting monsters until we collect enough materials and such to build more weapons. But dang, are we leveling up quickly. I got a bottomless cup. That will provide us with water elemental ores. Yay! But this is also going to get very, very annoying at the same time. What I like about the combat is that when you have weapons, it makes things so much more interesting. Not when you have a hammer. It's just dumb. Anyway, now that we now we come across another enemy, a gremlin, and it looks and it has fire powers for some reason. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. I also need to introduce something else after we kill this thing, of course. Ow! Actually, I'm gonna end up getting killed. Oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to point out. The durability of a weapon, well, basically, is how long your weapon will last before it breaks. When you guard, when you guard against an attack successfully, it will also t cut down your ability, as well as when you're attacking. Either way, your dur durability is gonna go down. And if it reaches zero, your weapon breaks, and you're going to have to rebuild it if you want it back. Other than that, your durability of your weapon... The good thing is, the durability of your weapon resets after every battle. And I forgot to heal myself, so I'm going to run out of this one. Anyway, as we go deeper into the dungeon, the monsters get stronger and such. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to use this bandage. Because I'm hurt. Anyway... Let's see. This is what I forgot to do. When you have your Guardian Beast, you also you also have access to magic and quick quick slot magic and items. Right now, since Michiko's only at level one, you only have one spell and it has one count to it. Enchant Aqua. It basically enchants your weapon with water elements, making it more powerful. And since I can only use it once, I'm not feeling like wasting it, and it's not necessary. So we'll just keep killing until we get our materials for our next weapon, which will be our drill. And we leveled up again! For some reason, I'm leveling up a lot quicker than I thought I would. That's the, that's the other thing I like about this game. It's freaking soundtrack. It's awesome. Fits the situation. Fits pretty much almost everything. And the storyline, I just love it. When my when you play a lot of games like this, they usually wouldn't have much of a storyline, but still, this one's actually a lot easier to follow, especially with the expressions of people's faces and the well-drawn sprites and such. There's our little pumpkinos, these little jumping bastards. They're really annoying. If you hit them in the air, they become momentarily stunned, but either other than that, they're just a jerk that keeps biting you. Yeah, I leveled up again! Wow. Really quick. By the way, you gotta make sure you level up a lot in this game before you actually decide to fight your opponents in the arenas. Because if you are under a couple levels, you're probably gonna get the floor mop with you, or something like that. What was I gonna say? I forget. Anyway, just level up. If you don't, you're gonna die. Unless you have a good weapon. Anyway, more bottomless cups, and MORE FREAKING FIGHTING! Stupid ground when you die. You're the only enemy here. I'm not worried. Die, 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 die. Ow! Anyway, what I'm fighting so intently for is over here, this treasure chest. God damn it! I'm not even gonna bother with these guys. It's gonna take too long. Anyway, here we go. Iron ore! Yay, we got more! Son of a bitch! I will kill you, stupid gremlin. Is this even a gremlin? It looks weird, but it has fire spells. And yet it's blue. Again, level up! Oh yeah, your partner levels up too, which means you have access to more magic items. I just gained a new spell. Enchant Aqua and gained one more slot. We just learned Aqua Tornado, our first magic attack. I will demonstrate them later as we go down in the dungeon, because... I will be healing before I find any- And I found another freaking iron ore! Woo! Anyway, each 
You die, you die, you interrupted my explanation. Here we go, across the water, and over. <sighs> I'm not even gonna bother. Actually, I should have demonstrated something. I'll demonstrate it here. Alright, here's one of the spells that we have. Enchant Aqua! Our guardian beast comes in and helps us out with, by enchanting our weapon with aqua capabilities, making it a water weapon. Very strong against fire, weak against electricity. Usually near the beginning of the game, when you're breaking containers like that, you're not going to find much. But, if you keep at it, you'll probably find a couple materials. Just hope that you get lucky enough, and come back and forth in between the dungeons, just so you make sure you find enough for making weapons. You want to make sure to make as many weapons as you can. Ooh, here's one of the other enemies, the Spell Sword. These things drop enchanted runes, which is used for making specialty weapons that have elemental capabilities. Although, I don't know any, though. And here's our first magic attack, Aqua Tornado. I'm going to be using that a lot later. Ow, that thing hurts. That's why I didn't want to fight it at first. And I leveled up again because it's a very powerful foe. And let's increase our agility again. Yay, there's the Mystic Core. That's what it was called. Here we go. More containers. Not a single thing in it. Let's get out of here. I really don't want to stay down here anymore, because we got all we need. And there's one of the deactivated teleporters. Once you link them up, you'll have you'll be able to teleport through the labyrinth to other teleporters that are already activated, like the one on the first floor. And that guy standing there is just blocking the path to the rest of the labyrinth until we progress more in the game. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Alright, we got enough iron ore, let's head back to the guild! Woo! Back to our workshop where we will learn, where we will construct our drill weapon that I just received. Okay, let's smelt these down, and these down. If you think selling materials are going to get you a lot of money in this game, it really isn't. Let's see. Heal ourselves up. And let's create our weapon. Here's the drill type that we received from Master Braun. It's very cheap in the water area, so let's just build it. This is the weapon I'm going to be taking into the arena fight. And there we go, here's our little drill bit. Novice drill. It's a drill weapon for beginners, but whatever. Anyway, every time you complete a, a weapon technique given to you master, by Master Braun that isn't a sword technique, you can come down and ask for another one, if there's another one available. At this point, all the novice ones are available. I'm going to ask for the spear type next. But I'm not going to focus on constructing it yet. I am going to... Oh yeah, that's right. We can only have one in the tournament. Anyway, I will demonstrate in the tournament how this is going to work. Let's see. Let's just head over to Central Tower and hit the save point. Do 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 do. All right, we will save our progress here. And we shall fight Chavez in the next part. This is AC Fan ninety nine. We'll see you in the next one.